Minister of Energy and Energy Industry Stuart Young says a multi-million U.S. dollar judgment awarded against Lake Asphalt Trinidad and Tobago Limited could have been avoided. Minister Young outlined the details of the cause at Thursday's post-cabinet media briefing. Terry Ann Brown Campbell reports. In May 2021, a local court awarded one of Lake Asphalt Trinidad and Tobago Limited suppliers a judgment against the company. Minister of Energy and Energy Industry Stuart Young said the company was set up. The UNC saddled Lake Asphalt with a contract with a company called Fastec, and they executed this agreement on the 18th of June 2014 and made Lake Asphalt contractually obligated to take 12 orders of 50,000 units of fiberboard, making 200,000 units per year over a three-year period. Minister Young described the agreement for that much fiberboard as inflated and exorbitant. We came in, Lake Asphalt resisted this contract because it made no commercial sense. Fastec sued Lake Asphalt. They succeeded at first instance and got a judgment and the judge ordered that they pay three million US. We have instructed Lake Asphalt to appeal this decision. He said the agreement was forced on Lake Asphalt at a time when the UNC's political term in office was drawing to a close. The day as the Minister of Energy, I had to go to cabinet and plead with the cabinet to allow the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries, along with the Ministry of Finance, to provide Lake Asphalt with $3 million US. Minister Young added that the company was also seeking a stay of execution to avoid having to pay until after the matter is appealed. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.